been here so many long days for us, um, are Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Me? I sell defensive equipment, as you can plainly see. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first. Many thanks. I cannot wait to put this new equipment to use. Let us hope it is not mere frippery. never did attend the coronation. There will be a reckoning for this. I shall not suffer others to mimic our master's powers. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon me. I would be only too glad to assist. The Tal's Empress has clearly earned the love and respect of her subjects.
Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone, that is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into it! Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm. That's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us, aye? Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Menace you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. <sighs> Fine work, that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, tis my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. Sir Ragnar is no ordinary man, that much is certain. I'm not sure what to tell you. Doesn't seem like you and I are going to be sharing a drink anytime soon. A shame that. Tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. As I've said, I'm a sellsword. Perhaps our next meeting will be on the battlefield, eh? I'd not say no to the chance to prove my mettle against yours.
Black Fatal is not a friendly place for pawns. Each gaze we encounter feels more unjustly vicious than the last. Let no hardship keep us from our charge. We go with the Arisen, wheresoever that journey may take us. Fancy a look at my wares? Just take it easy today. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their costs. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. No fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen. You've come just in time. Sir Armhild, tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen, come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten Her Majesty's life. Well met. Your assistance is most Welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. 
Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the rogue should you espy him. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Be not reckless in your decision, lest you apprehend the innocent. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life, should it come to that. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. Seize the rogue the moment you aspire. I shall pray for your success. Would that all my days were so. This looks as good a place as any. Lots to do. And precious little time. None of these looks so. We ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon. We ask that Batal may e'er prosper. And we ask that a day may come when Beestron, Human, Pawn, and every other noble race that walks... Who are ye supposed to be? Fie! Are they onto me? Ah, oh, shut it! Apprehend him at once. That man there is the assassin. Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, Your Majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Batal is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, However, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently, and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. Arisen. Truly. This bodes ill. Please. 
I've heard a blacksmith of singular skill resides in Bakbatal. Perhaps he could restore the regalia sword. Fret not, master. I know precisely where this person can be found. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Right, just follow me. Here at last. If tis a blacksmith you need, I can't help you. I'm retired, see? Oh ho! Tis a regalia sword you want restored, is it? That's a first. <laughs> All right, give us a look then. Now, here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I hear saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But, as I've said, I've laid down my tools, and before you start begging, know that I don't intend to pick them back up. Well, why are you still standing there? Leave an old man in peace. That went rather poorly, I fear. What are we to do now? Beg pardon, sir, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood ever eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel. Now, I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here while I'm gone? Of course you can. You go enjoy yourself. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. was special made to use glimmer coal mined from a nearby cavern till the monsters settled in that is neither of us can go anywhere near the place now listen brock is too proud to ask for help but i'm not would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some glimmer coal i'll take as much as you can carry should you succeed i reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours now, true to its name, Glimmer Coal emits a pale light. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you get to the cavern. Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots of the stuff back. If we can procure some Glimmer Coal from Digger's Ruins, Sir Broca ought to have a change of heart about the Regalia Sword. I can guide you there. If you wish. The vanguard is... I enjoy tackling fierce fur. If we can procure some glimmer coal from Digger's Ruins, Sir Broca ought to have a change of heart about the regalia sword.
legs are as mad. At once, master. Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters will rearrange their parts. I will protect you. Right where I want you. That's it. You do your vocation proud. There, the Christie. of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. the rift, I came up on a cave that you have yet to discover. Tis nearby. Shall I make the way? Follow me. Thank you. Take a moment to recover. You needn't push yourself. A 
unless I am much mistaken. We have cause to visit a place not far from here. Shall we head there now? Now? It would save us having to make the trip again. Shall we proceed into the depths? We'd best be prepared to make our own light before we proceed. Very well, if I must. Red wolves. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Apologies, Master, but I can't guide you there from our current location. Even inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Are we to remain here? Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. Pray, speak up should you notice or to miss. Ah! You're well fond of picking things up. Aren't you? Ah! Even already? Bother. I was just getting warmed up. How very inspired. I cannot wait to return beyond the rift and inform my own master of this. What has come over you, Arisen? That ladder looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Hmm. Allow me to check whether there's aught nearby. Eyes peeled. 
and watch your backs. I will protect you. Thank you kindly. I did not mean to trouble you. Remember, knowing your limits does not make you weak. Ah, I see you pinched something from our foe. By your leave, Arisen. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Methinks we could move this boulder if we work together. A firm push is what's needed here.
come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? We'll make our way there in time. As to whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Just follow me. One of us 
and someone we smash. to the bone. short jaunt can quickly become a journey, till before you know it you're bruised up and all out of curatives.
so we've finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. Well, but pray do not make me wait over long. Ought to suffice, unless you'd rather mine for more, Master. I suppose it is so.
great treasure, but of little. Used to us. It'll fetch a fair sum of gold, at least. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? And before I forget, hmm, without a mage among our ranks, we've no one to heal us in times of need. Mayhap you could dismiss a pawn, uh, not me, naturally, and hire a mage in their place. If memory serves, there is another place we were to visit, not far from here. We might kill two birds with one stone, or focus on our current objective. Both choices have merits. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry.
Is there any way to climb up there? I'm not sure what we'll find, but it might be something useful. Thank you, sir. Figured I owed you thanks, so... Hmm. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray, call the preparation in the world. Can't ready us for every eventuality, you know. What can always go wrong?
What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. That is what you wish, Arisen. I'll go on ahead. We might uh, scratch another task off our list while we're here, if we are so inclined. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. You're back. Have you any glimmer call for me? That's plenty. Many thanks. Rocker, we've got more glimmer call. Now we can reignite the forge. Tisn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you, my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal anymore. I'm done, understand? I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Oh, leave me be. My mattress beckons. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more glimmer coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you, if you'd be agreeable. Way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope, being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you? I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. I'll be needing some time. But I'll see it done all the same. You have my word. Mark me. This blade will be shining like a star by the time I'm finished with it. So Sarah might be the dwarf's apprentice. But restoring that sword will be no mean feat. Is she truly up to the task? So, Gwifentia is the elvish word for scale, Cinder. I suppose we ought to pay a visit to a Batali blacksmith next. I can guide you there, if you wish. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Hmm? 
I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon. Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones, carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I've got my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. Those statues fetched a fine sum they did. Fortune willing, there'll be more of them out there somewhere. What say we stop by the smithy and see whether Cicero has made any progress with the regalia sword? Fret not, master. I know precisely where this person can be found. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. I've never seen this sort of craftsmanship. How'd they work such a pattern into the blade? Hi there, Arisen. Forgive me, but I've made nary a lick of progress toward restoring that sword of yours. The blade's make is as intricate as tis beautiful. Suppose that's why these things ne'er see battle, eh? If I only knew how to create this pattern on the steel, mayhap the rest had come easier. What are you jabbering about now? Oh, um... Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Tis a process scarce employed, but 
One befitting the prestige of a regalia sword. Honestly, girl, you're no apprentice of mine if you can't figure out aught as simple as that. Sorry, Brocker. Must have slipped my mind. But if these patterns were the work of a blaze hammer, mayhap that's what it'd take to fix the blade. If you've not heard the term, tis where you heat your hammer to extreme temperatures by dipping it in magma. Tis hardly air used since the hammers like to cool afore you can forge aught with it. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. It seems it will take a rather complex process to restore the sword, but I've no doubt that Sir Sarah is up to the task. Tis as you say. Then that changes things. Places such as this depend upon my vigilance. Where's my coat? Pretty kind. My fur in a right state. Well met, sir.